trainer Emily here. Welcome to Training Tip Tuesday. This week, as we continue our series on training tips for grooming, we're gonna talk a little bit about prepping your dog for um, a bath and getting them used to that kind of cleaning and water and things like that. So the first thing, uh, most dogs get very stressed out by being in a metal tub to begin with. Hi, honey. Um, or if you have a porcelain one at home, both of those have really slick and slippery surfaces. So one of the things you can actually do is either get a, one of those bath mats that they have in, um, you know, like stores for showers, like Bed Bath & Beyond and stuff, um, or if you have a small towel, you can put the towel down. Yes, the towel will get wet, but it will give him something to stand on so it's not so scary and he's not slipping around on it. Hi, oh, buddy. Yes. The next thing you do want to do is create good associations with um, the tub. So things like, hi, oh, whoa, oh, there's cheese there. One of the nice convenient things about tubs is they're really easy to clean. So you can put some cheese on the tub and let him lick it off. Or if you're just not keen on that kind of thing, you can also use regular treats as well. Here you go, buddy, look. Oh, so good stuff happens in the tub, not always icky stuff. Oh, is that good? Do you like that? Good boy. Good job. If you're going to be using any sort of uh, grooming materials, uh, like a, this is a scrubby brush, so you might want to get him used to it while it's dry. That way he's not scared of it, which as it so happens, these work well both wet and dry. Um, just a rubber curry comb. Good boy. And they're really good for getting down in there, huh? Good boy. Oh, so proud of you. Brush, then treats. Good boy, super proud. Good job. Okay. Um, hi, buddy. One of the hardest things about bathing a dog often is um, where, how to keep them in the tub and keep them from jumping out. So you do wanna practice teaching them to stay in the tub if you can. Um, Getting them used to the tub will help. Stay. Yes. And getting used to being restrained and held by his collar as well. Because you might need that. Um, a lot of people try to bathe without the collar on. And while it's, you get the dog cleaner, yes, um, it doesn't give you anything to hold on to. So when you're starting out, you want to use um, a collar, preferably a nylon one. Leather doesn't work well underwater. Water damages leather and soap really damages leather. But um, a nice nylon one is fully washable. So you can hang on to that. How you doing? See, he already looks much better. He's much happier in here already. <gasps> yeah, because tubs are good places, huh? Oh, honey bunny. You'll also notice that I'm all dressed up for it as well. Um, yeah, you know, try and make it as much like having a bath except not actually adding the water. That's usually one of the things that they're most scared of is the water, the slipperiness, um, sounds, things that are going on, Getting, teaching him that it's no big deal. That's the way to go. Oh, we're getting more cheese off the wall. Okay. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next week when we continue our series and we'll actually turn the water on.